Just 20 minutes from downtown San Antonio on a six acre plot is a picturesque distillery that visitors leave raving about. Gin is the drink of choice for classy people, and since I consider myself a classy person, I decided to make the trip over here to Searsucker Southern Style Gin here in San Antonio, Texas. So let's go inside the distillery and see what we can find. Let's go. But before we tasted the goods, we spoke with Trey and Kim Azar of the renowned Azar Family Brands. We built our manufacturing facility about nine years ago to create Cinco Vodka, which was our first product and introduction into the market. We wanted to make a world-class vodka, so that's what we did. And we make a European-style vodka, which is a wheat and corn blend in a copper kettle, which is really unique for um, a vodka in the United States, especially in Texas. Why gin? Why did you decide to transition from the vodka to seersucker gin? But bartend, we noticed bartenders wanted to use gin and they primarily like to use gin because it has more of a taste profile for cocktails. And so we decided that when we were going to make our gin, we were going to focus on a, a different style of gin where it was more citrus oriented mm -hmm. with balancing herbs. And that actually complements the cocktail even more. You sold me. Right. Where yeah, can I buy good. a bottle? Yeah. Right? So out of all the, the different flavors that you guys have, which ones are your personal favorites? Well, I've personally waited to make grapefruit for a long time. It's been my favorite, and I can make a great cocktail out of, out of any one of them. It'd be terrible <laughs> if you made terrible cocktails and you were working at Searsucker. <laughs> and how about you, Trey, what's your I'm favorite? I'm real simple stupid. I, I like uh, my Searsucker original with a little bit of Topo Chico and Ooh. a squeeze of orange, and Gotta I'm ready to Topo go. Chico. Yeah. Mm. Searsucker's Southern Style Gins come in four different flavors, all made in this 5,000 square foot facility. So tell me a little bit about what I'm seeing right now. So we are what's known as a clear distillery, okay. meaning we only make clear alcohol. So where you're standing right now is what we call the Wonka Room. Wonka Room. I'm oh, sure you like can it. probably like figure it. it out with all the candy stripes. Uh, or Kyle in the Gin Factory right There you now. go, right. exactly. So the, this room actually stores up to 16,000 gallons, 16, gallons of alcohol at any given time. Okay. And the average proof of the alcohol in these tanks is upwards of 192 proof. That's a good night right there. Yes, it, it make a very quick right? night for you if you're not careful, for sure. So what we have here is Betty. Ah, Betty. She's our 529 gallon hand hammered copper pot still. And be careful, because she's hot right now. We're in the middle of doing a distilling run uh -huh. as we speak. Well, she's beautiful, but how hot is she? Well, right now, she's at about 178 degrees 178. Fahrenheit. 178. We do what we call slow distillation. It's like slow smoking a barbecue brisket. Mm -hmm. So by slow distilling, keeping the temperature low, we're able to create a lot of redundancy of evaporation and condensation. And what that really means is we're cl really cleaning our alcohol very well, so it's very clean, and it also tastes really good. So these are three cocktails that we're okay. featuring for mm -hmm. you today, and one of these is brand new to our, our menu this fall, and the other two are classics, favorites mm -hmm. that we have around here in the tasting room. So the first one, as you can see, has beautiful raspberries on it, which are Wonderful. nice and seasonal. And uh, this does feature our original seersucker. Mm -hmm. And it also mm -hmm. has raspberry preserves in it, which is really mm -hmm. yummy. Yes, raspberry gives it a nice little uh, flair. And this is our bee's knees, which is probably our most co popular cocktail mm -hmm. here in the tasting room. And this does feature the seersucker lemonade. You see the, the cracked pepper on top. That really allows you to experience two different flavors. So if you sip it from the straw, you get a little bit of a sweeter, you taste more of the honey that's in the cocktail. And if you sip it from the cup, mm -hmm. then since your smell is such a part of your taste, then you inhale some of the pepper, and that's part of your, your taste profile. It and so, you up. And it, it calms down some of the sweet. Mmm, definitely sweet. You I taste the honey. And mm -hmm. the honey. Oh, the it has honey. honey syrup in it. Mm -hmm. This is the bee's knees. <laughs> of gin beverages. And this is my favorite. This is the grapefruit cooler okay. and it features the seersucker grapefruit. Oh, I love grapefruit. It's nice, right? Yes. That one's my favorite. So because I love these drinks so much, Good. 
is there any way that I can learn how to create these beverages? Yes. Once a month, we host a cocktail class. Okay. We bring in a local mixologist. And with that, you not only receive sage advice from a master mixologist, but you also create your own two cocktails. And so those are included in your, your class. Nice. Welcome everybody. Uh, the two cocktails that we're gonna make are the Grapefruit Sands and the Southside Ricky. The Southside Ricky is probably one of our most popular cocktails. Think of it as a less sweet mojito style. So simple syrup, half ounce of lemon juice, or if you're dealing with the uh, grapefruit, three quarters of an ounce. You take the liquid, pour it on top of the ice, and then pop down, create a nice little seal and shake away. This is like some uh, cryogenic therapy on my hands. It really is. And you can either, what we call dirty dump with the ice, or you can use fresh ice in your cup and use and strain with the Hawthorne strainer. Pretty ginny. That is pretty ginny. Pretty ginny. <laughs> it's like 100% gin and 0% <laughs> <zero percent>, <laughs> juice. As you can see by this beautiful beverage, I am now an honorary mixologist, what can I say? Special shout out to the Azars for housing us in this beautiful gin facility. And of course, Adon, thank you so much for teaching me how to be a professional mixologist. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna finish this beverage. Keep it classy, y'all. If you wanna visit the distillery or participate in the mixology class, head on over to seersuckergin.com for more information.